Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another video. In this video we are going to learn how to create, edit and execute a batch script. So let's get started. Okay, so in order to create a batch script, um, we're going to use VI. VI is a um, text editor. So we're going to type VI followed by the name of the script. We're going to call it hello.sh. And uh, the first line in a script, uh, it is called the shebang. And that is the, by the way, uh, when you first open VI, you're going to find yourself inside normal mode. So you want to go inside insert mode so you can um, enter text. So go inside uh, insert mode by typing the letter I. I'm already there. So the first line is the shebang, so that is the pound sign followed by the exclamation point, and then after that the path to the batch interpreter. So it's bin forward slash batch. And um, after that, it is helpful to enter uh, documentation. So I can say um, date, I can write the date, I can say author, the author of the script in purpose. This is helpful so uh, two or three months from now you come back to the script and you don't have to spend uh, 15 minutes trying to figure out what is the script doing. Uh, if it is script is 10 lines, it's not a big deal, but when the script is 100 lines, it's uh, it's very time consuming. So in this script, we're just going to um, enter a simple statement that outputs the string hello world to the screen. And then uh, at the end, we're going to write another comment. By the way, a comment starts with the pound sign. Everything after the pound sign, it is a comment and it is not interpreted by the batch. So I'm going to say end. And then I'm going to press escape. So I'm back into um, normal mode. And now I'm going to press column. And that is going to take me into command mode. Notice that I have a column at the bottom of the screen and a blinking cursor. So now VI is ready to uh, take in command. So I'm going to say W for, w for writing and Q for quitting. I'm going to press enter. And now if I do cat, Hello, that is sage. That is the content of the screen, of the script. I'm sorry. And um, now, if I do ls minus l, hello, that is sage. Notice that the script. If I take a look at the permission for that script, no one has executable permission. So if I try to run the script, hello, that is sage. I get a permission denied error. And that the reason is because no one has executable permission. So I'm going to use the shemar command plus x to add uh, executable for everyone to the hello.sh file. So I'm going to recall the ls command and notice that now everyone has executable uh, rights to execute the script. So now I can execute the script. So I can do uh, that forward slash followed by the name of the script. Um, if you are inside the same directory as the script, you can do that forward slash. Uh, if you don't, if you are not in the same directory, and then you're gonna have to type a path, either the full path or the relative path. So I'm going to say hello sh and I get hello world printed out to the screen. So that's it. That's it for this uh, video. Um, see you in the next tutorial.